Yo, what's going on, people? Today we're talking about uh, World War Three. The game is currently in early access on Steam. Uh, been keeping my eye on this game for a while, and this is gonna be like my first impression. Not a full review. This is the first impression. Uh, my thoughts after playing it for like uh, you know around six hours. Um, so first of all, a lot of people thought that this was gonna be their Battlefield replacement. I did as well after watching the trailers. You know. Uh, it, it seemed to fit that role, you know, like Battlefield went back to the old type war and uh, a lot of people like myself tend to want modern combat so this game seemed like the perfect Battlefield replacement and after playing the game for a couple hours I'm here to tell you it's not. It's, uh, it's not a Battlefield replacement. Um, it does borrow some aspects from Battlefield, kind of like the maps, like the maps are huge, there's some vehicle combat in there. Um, you know, there's conquest game modes and stuff like that, but it ends there. That's that's as much as it takes from Battlefield. Uh, when it comes to the gunplay mechanics, first of all, let me just say I love this game. I am loving it so far. Um, yeah, when it comes to the, the gunplay and how it how it plays, uh, I would more compare this to kind of Insurgency. So, in the when it comes to the environments and stuff, huge stages and combat over long ranges, sure it borrows that from Battlefield, but when it comes to gunplay, uh, it plays more like uh, those tactical games like Insurgency and Siege, the time to kill is extremely fast, um, guns have a lot of recoil, a lot of bullet drop, so yeah, I would say it's better than uh, Battlefield in that aspect. So. This game is kind of a blend of Battlefield and Insurgency, and I like this because um, I wanted something more tactical in Battlefield. I grew tired of it. I wanted something a bit more tactical. And I tried Insurgency and I was too much. There's no heads up display, no hit markers, nothing. It's just you playing the game based on, uh, you know, listening and all that. So this game kind of, it kind of meets you in the middle. It's not as casual as Battlefield and it doesn't take it as far as Insurgency. So. Uh, I really like it for that aspect. You can be tactical. The customization is fucking amazing. There's a lot of options. Um, I really like. I really like uh, customization. So, any game that has a fuck ton of customizations, um, gets a thumbs up for me in my book. Um, and it also has armor. The armor is kind of a new aspect for me because I'm not really used to that. So, you know, in most games, you know, they'd be like, oh, you have armor that's going to protect you, and that only protects you for, like, an extra one, two bullets before you die, but the armor makes a huge difference in this game. Uh, it's literally a difference between life or death, so if you have on light armor and you're shooting at someone who has on, like, the heaviest armor in the game, depending on, you know, who's the better shooter, you may be the better shooter, but the other person may be in the gunfight because they have the better armor. Um, took me a while to get used to that. So, you know, if you're thinking, oh, well, why doesn't everybody just put on the heaviest armor in the game? Like I said, the stages are fucking huge and the capture points are kind of far away from each other. And the game also has like this weight system in it. So you have to be careful what uh, guns you take and what attachments you put on because all of that adds to your weight. And as a result, you're going to run pretty slow. So you have on the max armor, you're going to run pretty slow. Sure, you may, you know, survive longer because you can take more bullets, but... Trust me, running from each flag um, when you have on the heaviest armor takes a very long time. So yeah, it's kind of a you know kind of a trade-off. And um, another thing I like is that it gives you a lot of options for your loadouts, not just aesthetics-wise, because you can change the camo of your gun, of your actual person, your different types of helmets. All that is aesthetic, but when it comes to actually um, customizing your guns to how you want, you put on a long barrel, short barrel, all that affects like. The weight of the weapon um, also adds to your player's weight, so that's going to affect how fast you run. Um, the what's it called? The damage drop off. There's a little chart at the bottom, so uh, like when you're switching the attachments, you can watch the little graph to see uh, which one you want. So if you want to engage in long range uh, gunfights, you put on a longer barrel, but just know the recoil is going to be higher. Uh, you could probably put on a grip to help with the recoil and change like the muzzle. So yeah, the, the game gives you a ton of options which I like. Um, so yeah, as of right now I'm loving it but you know, not everything is positive. The game is still in early access so there's server issues, there's connection issues, uh, the game stutters and lags sometimes. Um, 
It hasn't crashed since the second day. Yeah, I couldn't play it the first day, got it, because it was uh, the servers were down, it was constantly crashing. But uh, after the second day, it just takes long to load in. But once you load in, you're fine. Um, but I'm gonna give them some slack for that, because again, it is in early access. So hopefully, they get all those stuff uh, fixed and polished. You wouldn't have that problem when the full game comes out. Um, but yeah, so far I've. I've left with a positive first impression of the game. Um, I'll say keep your eye out for this. Uh, I'm going to do a full review going through everything hopefully by next week. It was just a first impression. So as I play the game some more and I, um, you know, jot them some notes of what I like and what I don't like, uh, I'll put that in the full review. But yeah, that's it for my first impressions video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.